congratulations you just clicked on a rapid updates video and today's topic is iraq let's get rapid 10 minutes until 8 o'clock p.m on a monday in baghdad everybody's waiting to see if they vote on the budget and if they pass it so much is going on currently over the weekend as you know it's been pushed out until further notice before i get into the budget news on what is stalling this process let's take care of some other business for instance this business news article how iraqi officials make millions in cash for job schemes corruption is still a huge huge problem in iraq and we have to remember that that the reality in iraq and i'm not putting a microscope over this to cause you to have emotional swings with this speculative investment but it is very important to understand that it still exists and people pay for jobs it's not a resume that's getting you the job it's not who you are as a political figure like halabosi who's paid i'm gonna guess i forget but i think it's twenty five thousand dollars for his seat and again this comes from people in iraq it's hearsay but how ministry officials make millions in cash for job schemes a part time job with the temporary contract in Iraq's industry and mineral ministry costs mechanics graduate Yas Yasmine $1,000. It costs Hader 10 times the amount to get a job at an oil ministry in early 2018. Iraqi law might criminalize both those who pay bribes as well as those taking them, but monitoring groups and officials admit that enforcement is lax. The threat of criminal charges has done little to stop the gatekeepers to covet government posts extracting thousands of dollars from young graduates seeking work even as the jobs either disappear or never start when you pay a bribe there are no refunds this graduate from 2014 university of technology in baghdad one of the oldest seats of learning she struggled to find work for five years but eventually paid a bribe to land her a job in a ministry she says she was hired along 100 other graduates in february 2019 despite paying for the job she was told there was no budget and she was fired soon after this is what is going on you can expect this across not only the political side of things but in every day every job out there in the community iraq's dependence on oil revenues 95 percent. we know that that needs to change so this is just talking about the youth the job structure for youth future of iraq just touching base on electricity solar power remains a mirage in iraq when it shouldn't they're saying it should they should move to solar despite scorching heat solar power remains a mirage in iraq touching base on this economists iraqs are getting fed up with iran and they should be many were involved in the violent suppression of anti-government protests that erupted in 2019 just taking a look at iraq signs four contracts with the french company total in the field of gas and electricity talking about electricity gas and oil fields french companies have signed contracts Okay, so this page just got refreshed. Iraqi parliament fails once again to vote on the federal budget. All right, let's get into the budget here. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time of your time, right? This is rapid updates. But really over the weekend, what happened? There's disagreements over the contents of the demands by some blocks to change the dollar exchange rate, include foreign loans. So it is over the exchange rate. And other things too, just let's not forget, it's also more than just the exchange rate. Halabasi had intense meetings with political blocks. But the, also the problem is the new amendment of Article 11 regarding guess what the kurdistan's region share which required over 250,000 barrels of oil per day with an additional and this is kind of news to some of you another 50 percent of non-oil revenues like custom fees taxes border crossings and things of that nature but the good news is the region share in the budget is no longer a problem well we'll see about that because it's always coming up it seems like the state of law demands the return of a dollar exchange to its previous price now this was from the 28th but i'm just trying to set the tone here they want it to go back to 1119 dinars not sure where that name number came from but 1119 the state of law block affirms a warning after midnight from sadar following the parliament's inability to hold a budget approval session so here's al darth Seder coming out saying you guys are 
incompetent. The differences are clear between the blocks and it is regarding the exchange rate of the dollar between reducing it and maintaining it. Are we going to maintain it or are we going to reduce it? So yes, it's this is back to the exchange rate. And that reminds me, whoever says that the budget is done and that the rate's not in the budget, you need to cut them and run. Reality is created by validation. If your guru cannot validate what they are saying, what does that tell you? There's meetings between... Barzani and Emmanuel Macron from France. They're going to be meeting on the 30th. And we just saw that the French just signed four contracts with Iraq. So until further notice, the vote on the budget is postponed, subject to change. Parliamentary finance reveals new details about the obstructive budget law. These nodes are stressing the continuing disagreements over the bill between the political blocs. But this person adds the budget will be approved this week. We've heard that a couple weeks ago. We'll see about that. But it's not just the dollar exchange rate. It's also contracts, job grades, displacements of individuals, and reconstruction of devastated areas. Iraq got leveled the past 15 years leveled there's a lot to talk about if iraq and kurdistan region needs this week to finalize the budget law to move forward to rebuild and prosper and get rid of corruption so investors can come in so they can be part of the international community then great because it's setting a tone and a blueprint for the future budgets to come and that's what we need all right that's going to do it don't forget i have a telegram group if you want to join link is down below we'll see you on the next rapid updates